Good afternoon or evening whenever this gets uploaded. Uh, I got a later, a much later start on this today than I had hoped to. Uh, it's my Christmas special today, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell by my Christmas tie and my Santa sweater that my kids got me, both of these things. Um, and it's Christmas. Um, I expected to be home a lot earlier uh, from my kids this morning, but my daughter really wanted me to stay and do a puzzle with her and do some do some art with her. So uh, I stayed. How can how can you deny the child? You know. Uh, much more important than making a YouTube video. But anyhow, um, so now due to due to I I I think I bit off more than I can chew. Um, due to uh, the way I'm feeling today, and you know my hands are very weak today. Like I've said um, in the past, I think they're weak because I'm really fucking tired. Um, because I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, and I, uh, anyway, but originally I promised I was going to make a video uh, with me just sitting and listening to Jingle Bells for as long as I could. So uh, we're going to do that. Sorry, I, see, this is how tired I am. I forgot what I was going to say. I... I'm not going to do the tattoo portion of this video today because um, I don't want to, if my hands are weak and a little shaky like they are, I don't want uh, to scar myself uh, in, a, in, a, in the wrong way when I do a tattoo. It has to be uh, exactly how it's meant to be, you know. But anyhow, I did say I'd sit here and, you know, listen to Jingle Bells as long as I could on my Casio. See how long I could hold out. Um, I warn you, I'm a, I'm a pretty patient man. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, for those of you into the Dirty Pat Walsh channel, and like I said, I very much apologize for not being able to do the tattoo part of this today. Um... It's just too late in the day, and I'm too tired, and my hands are shaky and very weak. I will, hopefully I'll do that uh, tomorrow or the next day. So, are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready yet. Hold on. Who am I fooling? I'm ready. I said back up my camera a little bit.
told you, my hands are fucking sore. Pretty musically complex. Yeah. I don't know how they get all those little sounds and that, or those big sounds and that little organ. But it's got a real that, that. That's pretty metal, man. Yeah, if you you know, if you try to pick apart the uh, the synthesized instrumentation, it's uh, there's a lot going on in this. You know, like I guess the main instrument is supposed to be piano, but. Uh, 
I hear lots of like like Cassio woodwinds in the background. Perhaps a second piano. That drum. I don't know, man. Whatever. Yeah, you know, I did. I did get a design figured out for my son's tattoo. Um, I don't know. It's like right underneath everything. Like, I think I'm going to make it look something like that. That's gonna take a pretty, pretty steady hand to get it that fine. Um, Cause yeah, a lot of times, like single line stick and pokes are that thick, you know. So I gotta make sure I got it placed right and everything. I should make a proper transfer for it. The way you make a transfer for tattooing, uh, stick and poke home style whatever whatever way um, is you take you take you know you can just take a piece of paper like this you know draw your design with as much ink as you possibly can on the paper you know like if I was doing a say a circle you know you just circle like that that's not a very good example but it is what it is then you take uh, some uh, like speed stick deodorant and you you know you wipe it on the part of the body that you're tattooing on whatever your arm um, if your if your arm's hairy it's good to shave your arm too um, but yeah so you just rub speed stick on the place where you want the, 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 the transfer to go and you just take your transfer and you press it up against your skin so you get a, a little circle hey I almost I got almost got one without a speed stick I'm allergic to speed stick so I actually can't use it <laughs> it leaves me horrible rashes um, but yeah, I, I don't know, like whenever, like when I did, this is so awkward, it's funny because it's like, the, there it is, that's a good view of it. When I did this one, this is probably the most precise tattoo I've done on myself, um, you know, and it took, a, I just, all I did was just take a pen and draw, draw it right on my hand, and, you know, and this level of thickness it's like coming from that. See what I mean? So it's almost twice the size of the pen line that you're going to draw. But, uh, so I just got to make sure I size it all right. It's good. Maybe I'll give you a, an idea. At some point during this video, I don't know how, how I'll be feeling. But. Anyhow, yeah.
chicken poke tattooing. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Part of me also thinks that uh, if I was to do the tattoo in this video, uh, people wouldn't stick around to watch it because of the goddamn jingle bells. You know? I mean, I guess you could turn your phone down, but then you wouldn't hear my uh, <laughs> my babbling commentary. Am I making excuses? I'm not trying to make excuses. Just sometimes things work out different than you had imagined in the first place, you know? But, uh... But we're still gonna go for the fucking Jingle Bells challenge here. We're doing it right now.
can't play Jingle Bells either. I am not ashamed to admit it. After 40 years of being a harmonica player, do I know a single Christmas song? No. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. So, anyway. I was trying to grow in a bit of a beard for, uh... Cause most of my, most of my beard hair is white now, right? And I figured I'd go a few days with it. Shaving, I don't know, is that dirt on my face or just fucking hair? I don't know. It's hard to tell. No, oh, just a bit of hair. Yeah, I tried to grow my beard in, but I just got to like fucking gross ass, itchy fucking two day beard. <laughs> Two day beard length. I've been growing this for a week. I don't grow hair very fast. I gather. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, it's good to move this thing around a bit. style jazz odyssey over this thing but uh nah this would be a good opportunity to try out some snuff that I haven't uh, had, a, had a pinch of as of late This one here, I know I'm dipping, but do a little bump of this too. This is uh, Ozona S type, which is uh, spearmint. apocalypse happened in Canada I used to order this in uh, from the cigar shop downtown but they, they can't they can't get it for me now so they don't and I was I think I when I got them to carry dry snuff I think I was probably the only person who used it in town so they were probably disappointed with uh, you know I mean I bought a lot of it but I, d I couldn't buy all of it <laughs> I used to get this here in Peterborough, and uh, this was gifted to me about a year ago, or maybe a little less than a year ago, by a suit and tie dipping chew guy. Um, yeah, I'm very thankful for it. And I've actually lost this tin a couple times since I got it, and I found it in a, you know, I have a pretty large collection of blazers, and uh, I'm wearing my white one today for fucking Christmas, snowy day, I don't know what the hell. Um, but I, I found it in one of the little hidden pockets in one of my blazers. I was happy to find that. Yeah, I'm dipping Cody, I have nicotine overload.
So how are you guys doing? We're at uh, 25 minutes now. Almost 26. I had a real nice time with my children this morning for Christmas. Um, it, it's always, I always love seeing my children, but it's really nice seeing them on Christmas because they're all excited like children, you know, and uh, they got a lot of really cool gifts from their mom this year. Uh, they were pretty excited about that. I, you know, I gave them some cash <laughs> and uh, a Warehouse of Strangers t-shirt <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were excited about the cash, but not so much the, the t-shirt, <laughs> but whatever. I do the best I can with my, with my kids. Um, but yeah, it's, it was so nice, you know. It's always so nice. I mean, like, every Christmas I gotta get up at 4 or 5 a.m. Um, I know, sorry, I said I woke up at 4. I woke up at 4.30. That's when I woke up today. But, uh, yeah, you gotta get up and get your hustle on, you know, because the kids wake up fucking early as hell, you know. Beckett told me he'd been up since four in the morning. Uh, Ray's a bit of a better sleeper, but Beckett hassled her awake. So, and uh, yeah, they gave me some really nice stuff. They gave me a, they gave me a, a new set of towels, a new set of bathroom towels, which is nice, you know. I'm not often in the position to buy myself stuff like that, so it's nice. And they gave me a really, uh, really excellent pair of cooking oven, oven mitts, oven mitts, cooking oven mitts, um, <laughs> uh, which is kind of funny because I do most of my cooking in the microwave and in the, in the hot water kettle, you know, so... don't often use oven mitts these days, but they're nice to have. You never know when they'll come in handy. And my son gave me a... Now, you all remember the, the Shining from Stephen King, eh? Me and my son share our love of Stephen King. And, uh... Yeah, he got me, he got me the sequel to The Shining. It's called uh, Dr. Sleep. And, uh... I hear it's really good, so I'm looking forward to reading that. And my daughter uh, gave me a lovely painting that she drew. They were painted. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get it now. Hold on.
Yeah, my daughter, my my daughter is a uh, burgeoning painter and uh, artist, and I'm very very proud of her for it. And this uh, this will be one of her early works. You know, it's kind of an experiment in color, but I know I know she put a, a lot of heart and soul in it. You know, I'm sure all these all these lines, like she had to have them be that particular length for some reason. So, I love getting paintings from my daughter. So. And uh, it wouldn't be Christmas without a, a Terry's orange. <laughs> One of these fucking, you smash them and they taste like orange chocolate. I'm hoping this is a... Uh... Oh, it's milk chocolate. I was hoping it was dark chocolate. That's okay. <laughs> Every year, you got to force one of these down. Not that I'm complaining. Anyhow, all I really wanted from my kids was a hug and a kiss from them, you know? And, uh... I don't need money things, you know, and uh, I love, I love getting art, I love getting books, I love, I love that my son reads books, you know, um, I, lo I like, it. I love, I love everything they got me, it was really, really sweet, um, yeah, and the, the uh, Mithra, my ex-wife, um, made a really nice, uh, like, kind of, like, not really breakfast, but it's kind of like breakfast, like, she made, uh, some, some cinnamon rolls, which are very breakfasty, and she made, and she put out, like, this cheese plate with all kinds of really wicked cool cheeses on them, and, or on it, and, uh, nice, nice water crackers and stuff like that. And, uh, lots of, like, chopped up avocado, and there were some olives, and homemade pickles that were really good, that her tenant made. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. I don't eat a lot in the morning, but it was very pretty, and, and I ate some of it. I ate a cinnamon roll, and uh, a couple pieces of cheese. Yeah, it was really, really, uh, really nice for Holy moly. I think, I think we're going to try to go to an hour here. I really doubt anybody's stuck with me this long. <laughs> so. I'll probably get some downvotes on this video. Maybe lose a subscriber or two. <laughs> Who knows. Trey from Snuff Strings put up a really cool video this morning of 
love him and his little buddy. I can't remember his name. Uh, back from I don't know how long ago, a dozen years ago maybe. Um, when he was just a little guy, and him and his buddy were uh, inner tubing down the snowy, like like tobogganing with an inner tube, <laughs> which is a great way to do it. <laughs> I can't toboggan anymore, but excuse me, holy moly. I can't toboggan anymore, but I, you know, I, I loved doing it. Um, I took my, my kids tobogganing just the other day, and that was total good fun. In fact, I posted a video yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, it was hard to, hard to get them on camera, I, you know. They're that far. My eyes aren't very good, right? But An old bandmate of mine gave me this uh, <laughs> grade Z uh, weed this year <laughs> for Christmas, which was nice of him. Um, but it's really not that good. Like I always say, gotta make do with what you got.
We'll see if this burns down in five seconds here. I haven't actually smoked much of this stuff, so... But I do live in Canada where it's legal. This is weed that you smoke when you don't have any weed and you just want to feel like you smoked some weed. It doesn't really get you too high or anything. You don't feel Christmassy yet? Hell, I even wore reindeer socks. Stocks today. Socks, stockings, whatever. Yeah, they got. They got reindeer. Canadian Mounties, Maple Leafs, Beavers, Canada Goose, Hockey Sticks, jeez I thought these just had reindeers on them, it's Canadiana in a sock. See, if this is good weed, this whole roach would be brown with tar. Like, it's not. 
little bit, but not. Not, not how it should be. One day I'll show you. legal here in Canada now. It's very, uh, very effective medicine for me, you know. The only drag is it's not covered by OHIP, you know, so <sighs> can't really afford it all the time. But. You know what, I really gotta say, out of all the Christmas songs, Jingle Bells is one of my least favorite. Never liked it. Can't even think of another Christmas song I actually really like. If I guess if I had to pick one, it would be probably Silent Night. But Oh, 
so fuck. If you've hung out this long, I bet, uh, like, I'm, I'd am i be impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. If you, if you manage to, I'm going to, I want to figure, find out a way to get you to tell me if you lasted all the way through. Okay, at 52 minutes and 19 seconds, 20 seconds, 21 seconds, I said booger. Put that in the comments if you lasted this long. Yeah, so if you lasted this long, just right, bugger. I also got a Timberwolf uh, Fine Cut Natural review coming up soon. Um, I might do that tomorrow. I might do it Tuesday or Friday. I'm all messed up on the days of the week right now. Getting messages from the band chat. fit me right, makes me look really fat, I have little arms, <laughs> makes me look really fat, it's funny, I'm, I'm not that fat, this tie they got me a couple years ago, and it had a little uh, light display on it, I assume these were supposed to be Rudolph's nose or something like that, but they're just down here, feet. It had a little music box in it too, and if you just pressed it, it like played probably fucking Jingle Bells. <laughs> I can't remember. Just can't get over there. That's the coolest part of the song for me. Sounds like an accordion kind of chugging along too. Kind of a oom pa pa song, I guess. I guess you could throw it in that category. I 
don't know. And there's not even many translations of Christmas music that I like. Like even when punk rock bands do uh, Christmas songs. It's just kind of gimmicky, you know? That's the whole thing about most modern day, well, by modern day, I guess I mean... Like... I mean, some of the old... Christmas hymns and stuff are beautiful, you know, like when you're doing midnight mass at the church, or, uh, you know, singing, singing out of the, the book of hymns and stuff, um, but yeah, most Christmas carols I just think are bunk, man. hoping I can fucking upload this. I might have to not use my standard video editing techniques and just put this up as it is because I don't I don't think uh, my video the video editor I use will will uh, handle videos this long with the amount of memory I have left back in my phone. gentlemen we're coming up to an hour um in all honesty you know just watching me sit here listening to jingle bells i'm sure isn't going to be a very entertaining video for anybody but uh i've been yakking about some stuff but nothing really earth shattering <laughs> and i'm i'm really sorry to let people down if uh, they were expecting me to do a tattoo today. I did promise it, but uh, sometimes things can't work out the way that you envision at all. Um, but I will be doing that tattoo video in the, in the next few days, if not tomorrow. So I just gotta gotta be steady handed and ready to ready to do it right all right it's been an hour so if you stuck with me this long merry christmas <laughs> if you didn't merry christmas as well and uh i'll see you all soon on the dirty pat walsh channel be well everybody <laughs>